Okay, so um, this is actually kind of a bit of a, a, a more of an informal conversation and talk about um, marketing Civic CRM as a, as a community, as partner organizations, because I think there's a real um, there's a real opportunity to spread the word about Civic CRM in ways that the core team, just by being only a handful of people, can't. And also by being people who understand nonprofits, by people who work with nonprofits on a daily basis, um, people who often, depending on the, uh, depending on the, each individual's background, come from the nonprofit sector, um, we're often a little bit more in tune to what organizations are needing or what more organizations will, um, are looking for in Civic CRM. And so while we're used to marketing ourselves as individual partner organizations, it's also valuable to um, to market Civic CRM collectively. And I think um, <laughs> Paul here as, as, as a ringer, I, the, the, um, we've done a handful of conferences where it's been a really great, um, really great opportunity to talk up um, what Civic CRM can do, what, civ um, what different partners have bring to the table as far as our varying uh, backgrounds and our varying, um, our varying experiences, and or just different business models too. And so, unlike being one rinky dink partner or one rinky dink organization that's trying to um, advertise at a conference, by being a Civic CRM, by having that brand recognition, it's helpful for the for for an individual partner, but it's also helpful for the uh, for the uh, project as a whole. And so, um, I think running these kind of collect, um, collectively organized booths and other and other events, whether it's a big event like the Nonprofit Technology Conference, which is what this picture is from. Or from, or from some, something small. Um, this might be a, a local um, event um, for a particular state network of nonprofit organizations or for a particular niche area. It can be a valuable, valuable tool. So um, actually, we might start by going around the room just like kind of talking about how, um, where, you're, uh, where you're from, how you uh, market your own organization, how, if you've been involved in marketing Civic CRM at itself, and um, yeah, and just know what experience is bringing for that. Go ahead. Oh, I'm probably the newest. So sure. I've been running CV, CV for about a week or two now. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm here out of the generosity of Square. They mm -hmm. threw a three pass, three cool. pass at me. As I learned about the conference, like all of a sudden I'm like, could pull it off to get here. Oh, fantastic. So. And so I definitely wanted to come to this session because as a way to give back, because I, I believe in open source. And so I'll be shooting pictures for, you know, making sure all my pictures are available so that you got those for next year. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And, you know, and, and it's also like end user organizations, although this is like, I, sit, I speak as a partner, I don't, um, I think, I don't think it's exclusively partners that should be organized, should be promoting Civic CRM and, 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 or are uniquely capable or anything like that. End user organizations have a really important and really, um, it's, it's a really trustworthy sort of um, perspective that can, that can be very valuable, whether it's, even even if you, it may not be a, um, something where you can spend a whole day working a booth, it might be something where your your, your uh, coworkers say, "Get back to the office." But it's still going to be very helpful. Yeah, I use a workspace in Boulder that's a, used by a lot of nonprofits, mm -hmm. and so I think just that peer-to-peer -peer promotional side, you know, right there, will be huge. Fantastic. Yeah, well, I think you're absolutely right. Cool. Yeah. So Elliot, um, aka Mercury Motos. And I'm just by myself, and I'm actually not really trying to market um, anything. I'm at capacity at the mm. moment. I mean, I may in the future, but right now I'm not trying to do anything. But I am aware that within you know, Portland, Oregon, where I am, along with Sue, um, you know, there's a lot of nonprofit activity, in part because N10 is based there. Right. And N10 just sort of makes things happen. Um, and so there's a lot of nonprofit technology and stuff occurring. And, uh, and, you know, DrupalCon was there. I don't know when they'll be back, if ever. But, you know, for some of those things, I'm just aware that standing around a booth and talking to people is something I actually can do. Um, and having materials available, et cetera, as well as sort of approved points. Um, and you know things that we can say about commercial products and things we're not supposed to say about commercial products, you know, um, is is useful to you know sort of stay on the same page as everybody else and not not be rude. No, absolutely, yeah. But at the same rate, I, I think that's one of the real maybe a, a, a fact of life for an open source community, where people will be talking, 
and it's not and so even if you're sticking to the party line there's no guarantee anybody else is and so um, don't you don't always I think sometimes people come into the senior community and feel shy about saying they're sharing their experience sharing yeah. their ideas and um, and by uh, but but there's really no need to because people are bad mouthing Civi all day. People are saying Civi's great all day, maybe yeah. for the wrong the wrong reasons. <laughs> but um, and so uh, by by sharing your your perspective, it's I think it's inherently it's val valid. And I also think that it can be um, having that sort of chorus of of of, of, uh, of uh, different voices right. can be valuable. Well, it's just sort of it's there's a bit of a split there because if one is they are quote promoting Civi CRM. Mm -hmm. And yet, you're not really an official representative of city CRM per se. That's all. Sure, no, I, I, I follow. Yeah. yeah. The, the 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 dirty secret I'll share with y'all is is that um, none of us are. Yeah. Well, and so it, it's just fine. <laughs> it's, um, and you? Uh, Bruce Thompson, um, Killer Class Associates, Upstate New York. Oh, great. That's at Albany. Uh, you know, we we. Started using cities about three years ago, mostly when the WordPress implementation started to uh, come into uh, its own. Mm -hmm. And what we've done is we, when we market, we really market because it's it's solving a lot of our data. It's consolidating our data system thing with our clients. Our clients are mostly small, you know, ten staff or less or volunteer, but they have a lot of uh, you know requirements for data management. And for us, it, it for as Consultant, it makes everybody's on the, under the same system, so we can mark that. That's part of what we use is that you know it, it's geared toward what their needs are and mm -hmm. fits all the needs. Um, what you just mentioned about consolidated message is, is something that um, is, is important. That you know, if I'm telling a client something or putting out there that the rest of the community is saying a similar you know focus on how we're presenting it to the world. Um, uh, you know, in the three years I've seen you know a lot of initiatives to actually get more of that marketing, and, and you know now it's <clears throat> it's interesting because when I when I talk, it's, it's honestly gotten pretty easy for me to sell it uh, to a client. Most of my clients, a lot of them are existing or they're coming on with the certain needs, and you know Albany's a pretty small, you know, a lot of nonprofits, but they all talk to each other. So, right. Yeah. You know, I'm using this. I'm using this. And we have other people who are clients using it, so they hear about it, and uh, so. It, does as long as that message it, it does get out the uh, people like it. and having like the talking points can also be a good start even if you, even it doesn't need to be a constraining thing but it needs to be like it can be one where you're aware that you're hitting all the breadth of how the serum is used or, or, or things to mention about it just, and it can help your own marketing as as an uh, individual company to be able to say, uh, look, because often you're not speaking for Civic Sierra, you're speaking for your company, but you still may be the only Civic guy in the room. Yes. And so, yeah, having, having that, that be able to talk both ways, I think is helpful. Yeah, I think it's also it's important. I mean, the, the concept of how we talk to people and say, software doesn't cost you. There's no licensing and all that. Right. But as they say lately, it's, like it's free to use, but not free to maintain is one of the things I've heard out recently. Mm -hmm. so, but, you know, I like to tell you, look, there's no, you, you can start using it tomorrow, and you don't have to pay a license fee or anything, or you can, and you can stop using it. There's no contract or anything. Now, there's more to that, though, because obviously there's all people like us who, who train, who help implement, who you know, set up, who expand it, and all these other things. So um, you know, that, keeping that message you know, consistent is, is, is important. Yeah, absolutely. So. Okay. Oh, yeah, we're just, we're just saying who we are and like what you've done like as far as like since your marketing in the past. That's um, what um, I'm Jane Hanley. I work with Andrew at AGH and um, since your marketing. Uh, I have been at that booth and it's not met. <laughs> <laughs> you, were, you were probably taking a picture. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. I think actually I cribbed this from uh, Roshni's uh, Twitter feed. Oh, okay. But, um, I took a picture. I actually or maybe it was, maybe I it was, took uh, pictures uh, further away with people talking to you guys to oh. make it, to make, you know, so it looks like we're super busy. Um, which we, we we are at certain points during during NTC. So uh, I should have gotten one from DC like uh, last year. I know that was that was, that was like a mob. But the booth looks way more professional this year. So. It's true. I want to show off these banners. Yeah. Yes, these beautiful banners that we have made this year. Um, it is. I, I'd say like from the perspective. I don't know. If, I, I think I missed the first part of the conversation. But 
um, having been on the other side of it where I'm looking, I was looking for a vendor in previous positions, um, it's really hard. If we just went and hit an AGH strategies booth at something like NDC and someone came up to us, they would be like, what are you? <laughs> Who are you? What do you do? With Civic CRM, you can be a representative of Civic CRM, be an expert, and like potentially get more business, but then also have a way for someone to actually come talk to you and learn about something. Because they may not just go to a random booth. Most people don't do that unless you're like giving away something they want, like a like an iPad. So. <laughs> That's even good normal. It's, yeah. it's true. There's some sad booth this year with iPads, but yeah. The people with the keys, they had a they had a good keyboard. They're going. smart. They're really smart. There's one booth that the NTC had uh, they could put little keys, just they like went to the hardware store and make keys. Um, in everybody's uh, bag. And then they would say, like, go to the booth, whatever it was, and try a key on the lock. It was like a case that had, was not that in there or something in there? It was an iPad, it was an yeah. iPad mini. And so, uh, yes, yeah, so then everybody had to go over there, like, it's a key, like, I'll try this out, not to like, to them. yeah. yeah. We and you didn't have to just, like, share your business card or anything like that yeah. if you didn't want to. So it was, like, just the right medium. Yeah. So. Yeah. And then other, you know, marketing stuff that Andrew and I run with Paul, the marketing We're used to marketing things. Yes. <laughs> so, and Paul? Yeah, so I we do work a lot of booths here with these guys, um, which is a lot of fun. And it's interesting, I know that the last time we had uh, one, I think it was, came up to us and said, well, aren't you guys competitors? Why are you here? Sort of like, you don't seem like you're competitors. Well, actually, I mean, Sydney's growing enough, there's enough out there that I think most of yeah. the city center implementers have a fair amount of work to do. So we don't run into each other in the, you know, a couple times a year, and they're generally not huge. No, no, yeah. So it's like, eh, well, whatever. Or we'll even send business to you guys. We don't yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, so that's really cool. I mean, you don't feel like you're competing against each other while you're there. And um, you know, I think the more and more we can get out, put the city's name out there, and like you said, like the state ones, like there's gotta be some stuff up in Albany. I'm sure there's stuff over in Portland. Um, you know, we've got the brochures now, where it's like, like maybe the, you know, we, I don't, we can ship those. We can ship yeah. a lot of these things around, and it's like, you know, we can even stand out at some of those smaller venues where maybe Blackwood doesn't show up. Or they well, they're always show up. They always show up. Right. <laughs> they always show up, but you know, but but Sales they weren't at the grassroots yeah. fundraising conference though. Like, like they're right. Like, there's 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 places where it's really in our niche, yeah. and it's yeah. not so much in theirs, or they may have people right. using it, but there it's not worth it for them to show up. Right. Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah, exactly. And then what we do is also we volunteer uh, Linda Pagano five hours a week to do city newsletter and marketing and things like that. So that's pretty interesting. And she's really hooked into a lot of people in the, in the, in the community um, she's great. because of that. Yeah, thank you for doing that. Mm -hmm. Marketing mm -hmm. of this, and yeah. I'm doing the newsletter this month. Today. Okay. And she's like, you know, she, yeah. she's just really yeah. nice. Yeah, and if you, if you commit, yeah. oh, better, sure. you better follow <laughs> <laughs> I have no responsibility if you do not follow through. But uh, no, she's really good. <laughs> and, and you're close but, enough she can drive on up that's there. Right. Right? <laughs> well, but, you know, but for example, we, we had a meeting last and we had to, you know, she said last you know, Friday, she sent, she always do this, she sent a reminder, you know, if you said you're going to do, I need it by such and such, you know, see Monday morning, I was like, I told her, I, would do, I was like, yeah. I got I haven't written it yet, but I got to get her the you know, yeah. snippet. <laughs> so yeah. she can put it to the, you know, and. Yeah, we were really lucky. She's, um, she, she um, has a, she has a degree from Cornell, I forget what, and she went to Stern for grad school, and she worked in a pretty high level position for Reuters in customer service. And um, she sort of like left work, did the mommy track for a while, and then sort of wanted to ease back in. So we've just moved her, we're keeping her in that position, but we're moving her to our sort of intern, we call it a customer success manager. And uh, more touch points with the clients and things like that, because she's done such a great job with the city community. I'm like, wow, well, we have to. <laughs> yeah, they actually, they actually really need like a, a task master. <laughs> yeah, so I think she's done a really good job on that, but they don't, yeah. and so, and she, Oh, I've, I've gotten the emails. <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. And um, so that's, that's sort of the biggest, the biggest give back that, that we do. The other thing that Linda does for us that I think everyone should do is, um, like, every once in a while I'll write some giant blog posts or maybe post her in 10, and that's sort of cool, but we get more hits on our website from her little tips. I'm sure yeah. you guys are similar. Mm -hmm. Like that drives so many, people say, oh, we see you everywhere. And Linda's name is attached to most of it. Yeah. No one reads any stuff that I write, but. Um. I saw, as part of this newsletter, we're putting together a, 
I'm going through all the old newsletters and compiling all the tips into one yeah. blog post so when people get the newsletter they see the old tips. Okay. And there's a whole list, so I'm putting a whole list and yeah. there's a whole bunch from her. And I'm like, yeah. Good. And, and then, they're short. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> because she's like she's got um, she we use Civi internally. Yeah. And and also like so she talks with our support manager, Leslie Carter, a lot, like, right, what are the what are the annoying things that you've had to deal with this past month? And then she'll write three or four blog posts for us. Um, and then to few on the city on the city board as well. But like those are things that that's really easy marketing to do. And it helps to be out. And because like people want to see, oh well, you know, when do I use a, a group versus a custom data field? Or, you know, how do I you can use a wild card in a search. I mean things are like, oh my god, that changes my whole world, you know, if you <laughs> didn't know that. And and it's just really simple things that maybe we take for granted, but the world the rest of the world doesn't because there's there's probably you know I don't know how many total organizations using cities more than nine thousand maybe it's fifteen thousand and probably you know thirteen fourteen of those thousands don't use any consultants or just sort of try and make it make make their way through and they find out what they find out and yeah. all those little things are really helpful and it makes the community seem more invited too when there's always those little things that are out there. And seeing lots of different partners to work with. Sorry. You're a for-profit organization, right? Yes. And you said you're using Civi. Mm -hmm. and are, are there many for-profit? I, well, I was thinking about that yesterday. It's like, probably would not, not use it if we weren't consulting. Right. Honestly. Right. But, but, same just, yeah. but we, just, it's a, we just know it's so well. It's a powerful package that... It, 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 I mean, yeah, there are things is, that I would... Still over yeah. yeah. I mean, there are some for-profit organizations that do it, but it's, in general, it's not really... That. And that's not for right. yeah. We have one client that uses it. There's a for profit or a more for profit company, but they. Um, they act like a non profit. Well, they, this is it's a, it's an adult <laughs> hockey um, camp. Uh, oh, yeah. What are their names? Uh, Weekend Warriors. Okay. okay. And they, um, so they uh, have events, tons of events. And so it's really, yeah. and so it's not that dissimilar from a school or yeah, a camp or something else. Exactly. Yeah, two for profit clients are member driven. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. I have one that's a conference, the for profit conference for nonprofits to go to. Oh, there you go. And so, you know, they, 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 they use it for the event management and the yeah. NAL functions. So that's about it. But, yeah. So, yeah, it's not really like you're not going to. I burned three months. Deep market, but, yeah. I burned three months using a package that was built for commercial but marketed to nonprofits. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, wasted that time. You know, Civi, I think one of the values of it is that is that although it's powerful across the board, it makes reasonable assumptions for a, for a nonprofit yeah. to, to make. And sometimes, as a if you're working with a for profit, they're fighting those assumptions they're, occasionally. Yeah. But um, just still, like I was fighting them with that. Right. Yeah. Other one, yeah. So, but yeah, no, I, I think that that's one of the real values of it, is having the, the breadth of organizations, all the people who understand. Look, as partners, our success as and Civi CRM success are tied together. Our, um, by promoting our own work, by promoting our, um, what we do, we help Civic CRM, and by promoting Civic CRM, we help ourselves. And I think that again falls the same boat really for the nonprofits that use Civic CRM. By by having a stronger, broader community of users, that's more free features coming into Civic CRM every year. And so um, having like I think it's in all of our interests to promote Civic CRM um, kind of in, in the in the larger community. So um, anyway, so this is going. Uh, this as said, this photo here is from the um, nonprofit technology conference this past year. Um, we, uh, I guess, a year ago at the NTC, it was, it was in DC. Um, a handful of the same same folks. Paul was there as well. Um, we had folks from uh, Arte, folks from Ginkgo, helping with us, and we realized there were a certain number of gaps in how the um, in in what we ha had to offer at the uh, at the booth. We had a banner that was strung up behind us um, that said Civic CRM because it kind of struck me about a week prior, like we need something that says Civic CRM and it doesn't, that one's not that little, um, not that little uh, sign that says Civic CRM on cardboard up that they hang for you. And we um, had, we each, I guess all the partners kind of brought our own materials and Paul was the big winner because he had the only only materials that were eight and a half by eleven on white sheets of paper, <laughs> and so everyone's like they, they, they come and they just brought, blindly grab this uh, this this sheet of paper, which said a couple things about city, but it was mostly about back office thinking. Yeah. 
And so, uh, anyways, they were <laughs> walking off with with this with this brochure, which is damn, I don't compare to that at all. But the same way, we realized there was no super in fact sheet. There was no um, central thing that said like here in one page, this is what the deal this, this is what the deal is. And likewise, then kind of we got thinking, okay, well, we should have better banners. We should have um, some sort of a tablecloth or something like that. We ended up borrowing. That was a funny conference because NTC, the N10 decided to not do tape, not provide tables that year, just for one year. And so we had to bring our own table from, from our office uptown. <laughs> and then we had to go beg a- um, The conference had a table tax or something? Well, it was crazy, yeah. They, they thought enough people wanted different like high tops or something like that, that the, no one would mind if there was no like regular tables like this. But yeah, it was mayhem the night before when people were coming to the exhibit hall and they're like, where's my table? So anyway, um, so we got a little bit more organized over the past uh, over the past year in preparation for, for NTC 20, uh, 2015. And also, um, I've been in a couple other conferences. Um, we shipped that banner to, um, uh, what's it called, uh, Giga Street Ballard to go to a conference in, 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 in Michigan and kind of got a feel for what's involved in running this sort of a, a kit of, of tools to be able to promote Civic CRM, especially at conference booths. But also it's useful for kind of any kind of general promotion where, where you're meeting members of the public who are not coming to you because you know Civic. So um, among the pieces that, that, that are involved, so, so the banners, we have, um, the core, I guess the part of the background also is core, the core team has a, uh, uh, and actually out of the partner dues that everybody pays, um, is a uh, marketing budget. And so um, the marketing team kind of carved out a certain amount of budget for these materials and for us to um, kind of manage the process of shipping them out to folks, um, pay for, the, pay for the, uh, the, the freight fees, and for printing out additional um, papers and so forth to be able to provide to everybody. So we have that project is managed. Um, and so out of that, we've, we have a handful of, um, handful of things to start with. I, I, wish I, I wish I could have brought everything, but the freight to ship the booth kit here to not actually impress anybody new, but just to show you all here in the, in the room wouldn't be a bit much. And I was like, okay, we'll, we'll be good stewards of, of the, of the uh, CCM budget here. But what's involved? We have these two, uh, two uh, banners. The one on the left here shows different, um, different feature areas of CCM. The one on the right is just kind of a general banner that shows um, just smiling faces of people um, using Civic CRM in different in and in different uh, in different uh, contexts. We also have um, a, uh, a one page that actually um, Linda had put together a lot of the text for. Um, the, uh, the initial design was put together by um, by our team, by um, uh, Marissa Porter, and um, and then we just ran a handful of updates in that for um, the 2015 uh, version. And then um, the other pieces are, you can't see it in this photo very well, but there's a table runner that says Civic CRM, and that way it's appropriate for whether you have a long table, short table, big table, small table, um, and it's got the logo on it, so it, it creates a kind of a, a coherent feel. Um, and then we have, um, and then we're uh, also going to be launching, we just got the, the mock-ups from the designer yesterday, so I included this in the, pres in the presentation different um, templates for being able to create one pagers. You might create a one pager about um, a different issue, a different uh, 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 use case, a different um, function, uh, area of functionality, a different uh, vertical, like arts organizations or associations or something like that. And, um, and so those are the different pieces that are involved in this booth kit. And then you see there's lots of other stuff on the table here um, that are from the, all the different organizations that are volunteering at the booth. But one of the most powerful things that we've had is actually one of the cheapest. Is this board here that says volunteering at the booth today. Mm. So every time I, I guess I made it again a year ago for the NTC in, in Washington, just because I figured like it would be good to say, look, here are the here are the, here are the companies that are working uh, at the booth, and um, but so this is kind of a, a prominent but nonetheless constrained way to have all our names there, so it's not just mayhem of so many brands. But this board, I just, I have it printed out on an uh, uh, 11 by 17 um, piece of cardboard or, or, or foam board, whatever the printer has, and just put the, put the logos of the, different, of the different companies, and then also um, if they're an active contributor, if it's a supporting partner or a, a associate partner or a sustaining partner. And so it's just like on the, um, on the uh, partners page on the website. And then at the top say volunteering at the booth today. 
it's the talking point that we can refer to the whole time, explaining what, what uh, Paul says as far as, y'all are competitors, right? And it's like, well, well, yeah, we're from these different companies, but at the same rate, um, uh, we're here promoting Civic CRM because it's a valuable tool that all of us that all of us think are best for our clients, for the different niches that we that we fill and the different um, and the different use cases that they have. And we can talk about Civic CRM in, um, as a whole in, in an effective way, and the visibility is, is that much better. And and they're all very impressed, like with this whole like volunteering um, aspect too, where they're seeing like, look. Nobody who works for Civic CRM is even in this state, we were saying, in, in, in Texas. <laughs> um, there was true, there was no, nobody from the core team was at the conference, there's nobody who's based in Texas, and, and, and so it was all partners. And, it, and that sort of, uh, and then there was end users would drop by the table too for a little while. And so having that, having that um, real vivid demonstration of the community-driven aspect of Civic CRM, it, 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 it creates a strong impression on a lot of visitors. And so, um, Having that on the side of the um, on the side of the table there, it's it's a good reference point for for, um, for conversation. Um, have you guys had any experience of reaching out to client and users and seeing if they were up for being part of that volunteering at the booth today kind of thing, which I think would would be really interesting um, and, and add more to the objective that you're talking about? Yeah, I would love to. I think that would be fantastic. We haven't really tried it. Yet. We've never tried it. No. Um, I think one challenge might be, it's easy for, well, obviously I can justify it myself, Paul can justify it himself, like being at the booth all day. And other people who work for, work for a partner, even if they don't own the company, like they can justify it by being there to promote because it's going to earn them revenue. For a nonprofit, maybe the expectations might have to be lower. So yeah, sure for this, like we really expect someone to be at, a, at the booth half the time or so for two days. Um, a nonprofit, if we had like come by for two hours or three hours, I think that might be a more reasonable um, expectation. But that said, cool. I think it would be fantastic to have that on the board. Say like, look, here's from this organization, here's from that organization, mm -hmm. um, or even maybe a separate board that said like, at the conference today, like, because we had um, plenty of folks that we knew That's were going to be at the yeah. NTC. That's a really um, the users at the conference today. Yeah. That's a great idea. Yeah, because they use, use it as a home base almost. Give people a benefit if they can come and hang out there for a little bit. And they did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, you have a yeah. place to, to be. Yeah, they definitely did. I think they might a little bit more. That your name was up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And they could justify it to their to their bosses back at home, saying like, "Look, I came to this. They came to this conference conference, and I met all these CM experts, and they value my my uh, right. my thoughts, and and and, and they value my my promotion and." We chit chatted about these new features too while we were at it. It's just a freaking solving time or something like that. Yeah. It's like if, if you know if the partner that you work with is there too. So um, yeah, no, I think I think it would be a really great um, it's a it'd be a really great thing to have that kind of in a structured way because it's definitely happening anyway in an unstructured way. Um, actually, that also brings up we sort of did this in uh, Baltimore. There was a conference. It's the the grassroots fundraising conference um, that's put, put together by GIFT. It's the Grassroots Institute for Fundraising Training. They do uh, grassroots fundraising journal. And so their conference was in Baltimore. And um, I actually have a prop that I brought, but I left it in the trunk, the car, and the car. It's not. It, it, it's that board, but it's that board from there. Okay. So it's the same thing, but instead of saying uh, back office and PTP and, and Square and AGH, it says like AGH and PTP and, 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 uh, and Plante. Exactly. But um, so. Um, and that one, since it was local, I had, uh, and since we didn't really have a backdrop as, as such, I brought a giant uh, projector screen, and we have a short throw projector. So I stashed it under the um, under the table, and, and it projected a live city demo um, in, in the background, and so people could play around with Civic CRM at the booth. Um, but then we real, um, John Goldberg from uh, from Palante had the suggestion. He's like, look. Everyone always wants to know who uses Civic CRM, and on the on the back of that one pager sheet, it's got some organizations, but they're from all over the world. Like some are really huge, and which impresses many people. But the people at the grassroots fundraising conference might be thinking, "Well, is this some like high budget thing that I'm never going to be able to afford?" Well, not they want something like them, both in terms of size and mission. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe they want both. They want yeah. to know there are some. Established brands yeah. using it yep. so they feel like it's safe. Yeah. But then they want to know that people like them can use it. Yeah, no, I think you're actually right. Yeah. Yeah. 
I always answer, people always ask about like the scale of CRM. You know, it's like, well, if I got really big, could I, you know, handle, well, I, could handle everything? I do that because I work a lot of small organizations, not at all, but the New York State Senate is there. And, yeah, they're right there. And yeah. I basically say, you know, I say, look, I mean, I have small clients using it, but it's used by the, yeah. the you know, it's every it's, voter it can, in the yeah. state is in this exam. Yeah. yeah. So, um, happened, so what we did actually just kind of in during a during a session time when there was nobody in the room, John and I just kind of went through each of each of our own mental list of all of our clients, and also PTP's clients that we could think of that were at that conference, cribbed their logos from wherever we could find on the web, and threw them <laughs> up on threw them up on on the I could just made a little strip at the bottom of the uh, of the window um, that we were running this, this is the CRM demo. Well, from then on, I was like, oh, I know them. And I'm so excited. People who were, whose organizations were on that, they're like, hey, that's us. And it was, it was fantastic. So I think um, if you're able to know in advance who all is coming, and again, it may, may, may not necessarily need to be every everybody, but if you can coordinate with the other, um, other people working in the booth, hey, who do you know that's showing up? Who do you, who do you know that's showing up? Put our logos up there, and um, it was really a great message to show these are the these are the folks that 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 use it and and also um people would come to the booth and say who, who works with them and they'd be like oh so and so does like they go talk to alice she'll be back here in a minute um, um or, or or john or i whoever was uh, was there at the time so it was a really useful thing i was just thinking when they came in i noticed he's got the speaker mm -hmm. if you're promoting all your users you know, a civic user that they put on their name badge. Because mm -hmm. now you got a talking point and somebody sits down at lunch, it's like, ooh, civic user, you know, what are you speaking about? What, what's civic user? So I, did, I wish I packed this. I was leaving town in a rush. Um, a year and a half ago, or yeah, at NTC in, in DC, we, we decided, um, I, 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 was, I was thinking like, there needs to be some sort of thing to promote it. Likewise, um, Lobo won the, uh, the um, Pizzagati Prize, which is a, um, it's a prize for software in the public interest that's given out by the Tides Foundation at the Nonprofit Technology Conference. So I knew there was gonna be a little civi infomercial at, uh, during the, prior to the keynote one day. Unfortunately, it was during a, uh, during, during a yeah, during a marathon, no joke, that like went between where half of everybody was staying and the hotel yeah, the I conference was at. So like forty people were in the in the auditorium. It's, it was more than that, but it, it was unfortunately not as not as well attended as it could have been. Oh yeah, totally. It was good. Yeah, yeah. But I knew there was going to be this this kind of yeah short civic infomercial at, at the conference, so we should kind of seed the crowd a bit by having that and having the CCM name out a little more. So uh, what it is it? Create a whole slew of uh, stickers. And with different with different like little lines on them. One said, uh, um, uh, "My CRM is priceless." Another said, um, um, "My my data is open to new connections." Yeah, my my database is like me open to new connections. And one said, uh, "My code uh, my code open my my, my code open my data mine." And then um, one that said, uh, "Beer plus kittens." Um, yeah. Anyway, so. <laughs> We um, had those, and that was the idea yeah. that they were small. They were yeah, size enough top to top. stick on your on your badge. You could put on your whatever, and yeah. it would just be around and start conversations because they were, yeah, either either. Uh, um, I, I think that what we were, we were going with is those stick-ons we had today for speakers or sponsors that we have today. Mm -hmm. We could bring those to another conference. Well, and we could, yeah. you we have to get them custom made because you've had to do that. But if they don't change, then it just we just a, order a bunch of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, because yeah. they they make you order. Their Yeah, but that could be something that's pretty easy to do, so be part of the user, and then just stick them in the bottom. But most of the badges are the same ones, right? They're all conferences. You know, all the, yeah, all, right. the, all the stickers are the same. It's that, because I tried to have one made for core team. That's actually how I know that it costs more for, oh. for custom ones. I was going to make 50 core team. Revenge of the user. Yeah, well, two. good, though. <laughs> 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 yeah, we could, we could do it for, yeah, because it just wouldn't change. I think green and blue is going anywhere. Right. Yeah. 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 So that's a fantastic idea. Yeah. Um, so having that having that sort of a, a recognition, I think, 
is real valuable in a conference, and especially after like, yeah, the bigger ones, smaller ones, or other ones. And people always look, oh, you have, a, you have an actual thing on your badge, so. Yeah, what's that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, those are eye grabbers. Yeah, you know, because you know what you've got, right? Mm -hmm. And then you see what other people have, and especially if you have one that is, um, you know, hacked on, as it were, which is, you know, basically what we're talking about. Yeah. You know, it, it, it stands out all the more, and, I, and people do do that. And sometimes it's little clips up here or things on the platform. I like the ones you have here. They're really good. And like, you know, with this conference, there's a high percentage of people who are sponsored speaker, but like at N10, very few. Right. And, and so yeah. those big conferences have thousands of people. There's maybe, you know, less than 100 that have something special on them. So yeah. you really can stand out. Yeah, that's, that's, fantastic. that's fantastic on you, yeah. I'm glad I don't have to take notes because it'll all be on the video. I'm writing it down. Oh, cool. OK. Um, so yeah, so yeah, so you can see all the different things that we that we brought. We um, had got a last minute. Um, uh, uh, Nikola sent a thing for um, Civicon, so I went ran to Kinko's like ten times for different random things. And <laughs> yeah. So I printed out a thing for Civicon. Uh, we had a little hand bill that saved the date for um, the user summit because we knew the the dates and we just put the site up um, like a couple days before that. Um, and then obviously you can see um, there's a bunch of different things from different partners that, that work with Civic CRM and. Um, then even a uh, another project that we were kind of trying to promote for uh, uh, collecting information to met for donor benchmarks for a donor benchmark survey, and so um, tables full of materials. I think it's just going to be life because everyone's going to bring a two or three things, and then you multiply that by four or however many folks who are working the table, and then your table's full. But um, again, it, it can be a good. It, it's a, I think a good thing, or at least it, it's consistent with our identity and brand and so forth as Civic CRM, there's a thousand ways to do it. And um, there's a, a whole, whole slew of people behind it. So here's the, uh, here's the uh, one page that, that, um, that got put together with, uh, with Linda and, um, and, and Marissa. Marissa. And um, so it just has a eye grabbing photo on the front. The, um, the original version had a, um, a spot to be able to put your own partner um, own partner information down at the bottom. Um, for a general one, for like the booth kit, we're not doing that because obviously we're not, uh, we don't know what partner's gonna be giving them out. It may be several all at once. But um, there's still room to be able to put something down at the bottom for if, if someone wants. And then over on the right, you, um, there's a showcase of uh, end user organizations, and then some things about Civic CRM at a glance, what its features are, and then some reasons why someone might choose Civic CRM. So that, um, that's available actually up on the wiki right now. You can download um, the, the original version. We've printed out a whole, whole ton of them. <laughs> and that's, some, that's something that will ship with the, um, with the booth kit to anybody who's interested in, in, uh, in marketing CFC or at a conference. Is that on the Spread the Word page or just? On the I'm, one of my jobs is um, in the next, well, especially once these next things, I'll show you in a second get done, is to kind of reorganize that Spread the Word and potentially also make a separate in, internal wiki page for booth kit stuff. Just again, just to be a kind of portal for our partners to go to to take care of everything. Because um, I think some maybe spread the word appropriate and others are more like internal, like yeah. Brett who gets at the booth kit and that sort of thing. And instead of sending printed materials, can the files just be made available to the local printer instead? Sure. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That would, that, that's what he's saying. Yeah. Okay. He's making them available. Making them the, yeah. available in that way. It's more what it is is that there's these big banners yeah, to ship. And so while we're shipping, we may as well ship everything you need all together okay. in one box. Um, and so, uh, yeah, so that, but so, and there's also a budget from the yeah. core team to, 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 to print. So, um, yeah. And since we normally have one minute left. Do we? Okay. Yeah. Um, who has this? Where is it located? Um, so right now there are two of them, and they're both in Washington D.C. One will be going to, I presume, Spain, um, somewhere in Europe to okay. live in Europe and be shipped around there, and the other will live in D.C. And what will, what, um, yeah, let me let me skip through um, okay. in one second. We can go over a couple. Of them. Yeah, this this phew, man, it's going fast. Um, these are the uh, four we just actually got from the designer um, a couple of days ago. Um, the idea is not that you're going to have expands, unites, etc. supports. Um, as your flyers necessarily, but that you'd be uh, able to have the blue one might be for arts organizations, and the green one is for um, environmental organizations, and the pink one is for um, associations and so forth. 
Or you might have the blue one be talking about membership tools and the green one talking about fundraising tools and the um, pink one talking about activism tools. So it may be flexible for different purposes over time, but they hang together as a set. And so by providing in the booth kit, this might be something that you would again download the file, print on your, print on your own. Um, if we end up with a handful of like real standard ones that might get shipped with the booth kit, I think that some of that some of that will get figured out once there's actual copy to go on these things. Um, but uh, having having that ability for everything with CIPCRM looks like it belongs to CIPCRM. Looks like it belongs to the banners and so forth. Um, is a is a valuable tool. And then finally, I just want to talk about was um, if you're at, a, at an event, we organized a happy hour because we wanted to. Um, have a just some sort of a, um, outside the NGC venue for people who are using CivicCRM to guy hang to, to to meet up, not at the exhibit booth. And one of the things that we, uh, well, I guess, one of the things that we face is every every venue that we were looking at had either a bar minimum or a, or a room rental fee or something like that. And um, we looked at that situation. And we're like, well, look, it would cost nothing to do that. And if we just make it a sponsored thing, then it's a great marketing. Um, Opportunity for the partner organizations that that, that sponsored this. So, um, yeah, Jane emailed everybody and, and um, what's it called? Back office, PTP, and Square said they're they're, they're in, uh, up for going in with us. So we put up this, put together the sign. We made little handbills um, for how to get how to get to the um, how to get to the bar where we had the uh, happy hour, and it was a great success. So um, having these kind of add-on events can be focal focal. Um, Opportunities for community building at, a, at an event, and also people will bring their friends or other folks. Yeah. And they also invited people that lived in the area, right? Yeah, there, but maybe more at the conference because, mm -hmm. like, especially in sort of underserved yeah. markets, maybe they don't have like a big when shop. I've been there. talking to people who were at the conference that didn't leave, but City Surround were just there, and then you know, they now they know that's the CBCR, right? right. right. So yeah, so back, back to your question about how to, how to take care of the, all this stuff. So, so um, the booth kit project is, um, is um, in progress right now. We should have the, um, all the pieces wrapped up uh, by the, I'd say maybe middle, by the end of June uh, is, is, my, is my hunch. And so what, what that will be is we have um, those two banners and we'll actually have two more. So two that are, live here and two that will live in Europe. Um, and it's one 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 of each of those of those. Um, I'll zoom out a little bit. Uh, on each of those uh, sides, um, and then um, a handful of uh, of um, uh, the printed flyers, tape and string and all the weird things that no one ever thinks of. Uh, <laughs> we do, we can't fit the carpet in the box, so we, I had to take it to I took it to the uh, the uh, Habitat Restore back in Austin. We had to get. At this conference, everyone had to buy a rug, or rent a rug. It was cheaper to go to IKEA and buy a rug than to rent their rug. It was absolutely ridiculous. So um, we had the city rug. Yeah, it was city green. Yeah, it was. It was, it was yeah. <laughs> but um, unfortunately, it was too big. It was just. It was going to cost more than the rug to ship the rug back. And so it's like, forget this. Um, anyway, so yeah. So um, weird things will come up almost always, and unfortunately, we can't anticipate that in with the booth kit. But all this is together in one. Um, so we've, we've bought two. Um, uh, they're percussion cases actually for percussion equi percussion equipment and stands and so forth. And so that way everything's all together in one thing. You can ship that to wherever wherever it needs to go. Um, you'll have all your CIPCRM stuff all together. It won't get damaged in, in shipping. And uh, we can potentially add more things. One of the things I really like is to have a live demo. It's all it's. I think it's a challenge to have a, something that is a good screen to be able to do that and ship that around when there's nobody around. At the NTC uh, in DC, we, our screen was my television from <laughs> from home. Um, at uh, in Baltimore, we brought the, the projector and that was great. But the projector comes with the screen that's that's big. Um, but I keep hoping that there's going to be some thumb drive sized thing that can stick in an HDMI like um, that. I guess some of the the might. Uh, Micro uh, Android devices would be an appropriate way to have a CIPCRM live demo on that. You get a, a remote keyboard and, and mouse, and um, then be able to just plug that into whatever TV or monitor or something like that, that that's in town. So hopefully that will be a little bit um, better option. But 
the idea is that the booth kit can kind of expand over time and, and, and pick up things that are good tools for people to have. And um, yeah, so anyway, we'll have a, there's a um, page on the wiki that has the beginnings of, um, boot, of conference information for different conferences around the world. Um, we'll have a way to sign up to say who's going to get the booth kit when. And um, it would need to obviously have lead time, lead time to be able to ship the booth kit to somebody. But uh, yeah, whether you're here in the US or in Europe, we'll have the booth kit um, there to be able to ship to you. And then for people elsewhere, or if you don't need the whole kit, or if it's too late in the game to be able to get something shipped to you, then there's definitely all these materials will be online and available to, to, to download, print, and even customize. So yeah. Any, any last questions while we're up there? You guys talked about how to get more uh, service providers to know about this and use it once we have well, the hope is <laughs> more people at, that, at this session. That was, uh, but we, um, I think one of the things is some service providers do a lot of out marketing themselves, and others just really don't. And um, I think that may be a tough challenge to begin with: is that people aren't already talking to to um, to uh, and the like, prospective end users all that much, unless someone's already decided they want some CRM. And so that's I, I think a little bit of a challenge, yeah. but. Um, yeah, I don't know. Do y'all have any, any thoughts? Uh, I think just promoting it through the partners, Google group. Right. Or if you're going, put it in the news, the newsletter. Yeah. City will be represented at this conference. I mean, I guess one thing would be for some of us at least to put a look at that list if we haven't already for this year and say these are ones where we absolutely need to have somebody there. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. You know, sort of within ourselves. Typically, due to budget stuff, the core team hasn't been sent to someone, but if it's a critical conference and there's not enough other I think if it's a critical team, conference, there's going to be partners there. Yeah. Right. 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 Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then, moreover, if it's, a, if it's a, even if there's no partners going to be there anyway, it's probably not terribly far from somebody. Because right. um, there are enough partners around the country right. around the, and around the world to be able to, to um, get to somewhere, most likely. But, um, yeah, I, I, what, so a bit of context also. In 2014, there was a, a dedicated marketing budget, and you could, um, and I assume that there is in 2015, but it's, it's been less organized. Um, but for 2014, it was a dedicated marketing budget that would, you could apply to it and get funding for certain projects or certain things. Well, most of the funding was going to people going to um, manage rooms and conferences. Some conferences have a booth that's like $200. Some conferences have a booth that's like $4,000. It's really kind of all across the board. Sometimes you get free tickets as part of that. Sometimes you don't. Like it's and so. You get one. What's that? You get one, but you like four people that have to get through. Exactly. Yeah. And so then it becomes a question of like, well, who's doing? Who's getting that? And in a way, maybe the person who gets the free ticket shouldn't be one of the people who's working in the booth because then they're kind of wasting their free ticket because they're down in the booth the whole day. Um, so, navigating that, uh, I, I think, and then there's also these questions like, do people have different conference ideas and some will be very expensive, and the, the partners that were serving on the marketing budget committee were sometimes confused of what the real, real priorities ought to be. So I think maybe assembling a good list, a good national list, and looking at that on a quarterly or, or maybe semi-annual basis, but with half year lead time, would then be helpful to say, okay, this is the this is how we should divvy up this month, this booth budget ahead of time proactively rather than rather than I guess the more grassroots driven but nonetheless haphazard way that we've yeah, been doing in the past. Want, we don't want to blow a bunch of money on something and then like six months later there's somewhere yeah, like so I think mean, we should look at the the sprint because we're going to market yeah. sprint, so that could be one of the things that we look at. I mean we we left the line I prefer about ten K Three or four of it for the website we do, um, but so there is there is still funding, and there's actually funds left over from last year. Right. Yeah. And so having that having those uh, having those tools available and, and it's clear this is the kind of the general plan, because there's nothing saying you couldn't go on your own to a conference, um, and it's only saying that people couldn't go in together um, on a conference. It's just it can get kind of steep sometimes. And I think there's only a certain benefit that that and you and that uh, partners get from 
or the There's just sometimes I think that cities around core should say we need to be at, they need to be at the end, need to be at this conference. So the other ones are like, if you go to the Pennsylvania Association of Nonprofits, well, that's great, but you know, people from Pennsylvania should pay for that, but it's not a big national thing. Right, yeah. So, I'm not, maybe I'm not understanding, but based on your experience at Antenna, for instance, this year, do you think it would have been, it would have been better if myself or somebody else from the core team was also there? Um, it's always helpful to have a core team, but I think the key is that city's somebody, there. Yeah. Right, and, and I think it was very intriguing by people that, you know, primarily Andrew and I and Jane were there talking about it, and they're like, this is really interesting how, because yeah, it's usually, you, you know, you go to Black Blood booth, and yeah. it's, so it's, it's, it's different, and I think, Different might be better. I, I don't know. I mean, definitely well, always good to have you guys there, but. Next year it will be in San Jose. So I think like, it's, all, it's, all, <laughs> it's all you next year. <laughs> yeah. So, but and I think also, yeah, just like things on the West Coast where there's actually core folks right. versus things on the East Coast where. There's a lot of. Yeah, yeah. between yeah. battle and age, we got it down, but at the same rate, like yeah. that's. Also, yeah. the, the Humane Society folks, right? That came and we, they talked to us. And then now they've talked to you guys. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. like, had you been there, yeah. that would have been better for that. Right? Yeah. You know, because they were less interested in giving me their card. They were less interested in having an in depth discussion. They were more interested in talking to me. Yeah, I think they never responded to my follow ups. Mm -hmm. uh, well, maybe they're interested in it all. I don't know. I think sometimes, like, talking about, like, we're like four dealers almost. Like, you're going to buy your car from an individual dealer somewhere, but we're all selling boards. Um, and, and so, I don't know. It, it, so I think there's a certain element well, of that. Your fourth is different than his fourth, I think. <laughs> well, it's true, but at the same rate, we're also all selling civacy around. Yeah. Like, and, and so I think um, it's... And we're not differentiating ourselves that way. We're, I mean, I think we're real careful, and that's important to not sell our service. I think we're out of the way not to do that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, the only thing that we promote is I would I'd promote your sort of civvy... Nine or oh, nine nine one, 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 yeah, because that's very unique, and you know, it's like, well, Andrew does this, so I don't really know who does, and here's from he's here, so actually, so, like, and um, the big stuff we're not really promoting ourselves, yeah, it's all very general, it's yeah. Fun, yeah. At um, at the Baltimore conference, the grassroots fundraising conference, we did a lot of um, uh talking people into each other's services. I, I think that because Palante and PTP and AGH are, uh, sure, have markets, different, yeah. not, actually not so much different markets, because it's all the same market that we were there for, oh, yes. but we have different, um, different ways of going about things. Um, they, for AGH, we were like totally work with whatever system, whatever CR, CMS. Um, uh, Palante is a bit more standardized. PTP is like you're using PowerBase. And so, um, depending on something, people say, "Oh, you want WordPress? We'll go talk to Andrew," just because yeah. the, um, they weren't really, um, they weren't really work where Joomla, I think, was actually more. They, they do some WordPress at Blanche, I think. But um, and so, and, and then I'd be like, "Oh, you 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 want something where you, the, your hosting is done by your consultant? Blanche will take care of that for you." Um, oh, you 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 work with PTP on other on other things. PowerBase is going to be a great a great solution for you. And so. There, because we knew we were all kind of on the, we, we all were had our own niches where we really weren't overlapping in how you would go about it. It worked very nicely. But I think it's something where you just feel it out with everybody else, and I'm sure there will be bad players somehow. But at the same rate, um, everyone so far has been has been very friendly to work with, and um, and mostly helpful. The, the only problems ever we've had is like people just not really showing up at the booth to work with. Yeah. Well, thank y'all. Um, yeah, I appreciate you coming to this. Um, again, I wish I wish we had more more partners who were, were eager, but there's a lot of good sessions that were all this during this time period, and so maybe they're watching the video. So, <laughs> thanks.